Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Tiffany. Sticking with the new rule of keeping the thank yous short, Linda, Sedona, Shayla, thank you very much. I appreciate your comments and your support. As far as the half second video of the family, it was meant to be in slower motion and it was supposed to take up three quarters of a second rather than half a second. I had someone from another channel leave a comment just giving me support. Her name is Fabiana and her channel is Flaunt It Natural and there's a link up there so you can go check it out. You know, like wait till the end of this video before you do that because there's also a link down there. Speaking of down there. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to get notifications, give me a thumbs up, tell me you like what you're seeing, leave me a comment, a question, a suggestion. I promise I'll respond and maybe even say something on my next video. I really appreciate it when people from other channels leave comments. I think smaller channels should support each other. We should help each other grow. And like I said last week, I know my channel's never going to explode into the thousands. Yeah, but if we just give each other a shout out, maybe point out each other's channels from time to time, it helps everybody. So if you're a small channel or a medium sized channel or a large channel that happens to stumble across this, leave me a comment. I'll go check out your channel. I do like watching different things from time to time. So tell me about your channel. And actually, you know what? If a large channel stumbles across this and leaves a comment, I will be completely dumbfounded. And even more than that, if any large channel mentions me in their video, I really think my head might explode because I just don't think anybody with a large channel is going to watch this video long enough to see me say this. Prove me wrong. Ooh, a challenge. I like that. That was spontaneous. I have my notes written very large so I can read them without my glasses. Of course, now my eye is watering, so I'm having trouble seeing it anyway. But I had not thought about saying it like a challenge until just that moment. Cool. Let's have a little bit of a flashback. Last week's video, as of this second, has 147 views. I would love to keep getting 100 plus views per video, but I'm not holding my breath because I'm basically just a small time vlogger. I didn't think last week's video was really anything great, but I figured I would be back down to 30 or 40 views in a week, if that. And somehow I wound up with over 230 views to this point. I think that the computer or the person who does the reviewing process saw me say something about not getting any views and they decided to fuck with me and just put my video out there more times to make sure more people saw it. My view percentage is still down around 30% which it's a little depressing because it means people think I'm boring, which I am, but whatever. I'm not exciting, I'm not outrageous, I'm never going to be. I'm not going to start doing stunts just to get people to watch this channel. Although I would like a few more subscribers. I don't know why. I'm going off on a tangent in case you can't tell. When the dryer repairman was here last week, Apparently, he went out and inspected the exit vent on the outside of the patio, and the people that built the patio put the wrong kind of exit vent. I remember some sort of conversation about it when the patio was redone. I don't remember the exacts about it, but I do remember them talking about the type of vent they put on would prevent rodents and things from getting in. It turns out that the vent that they put on there was actually restricting the airflow, which may have been part of the reason that the dryer started malfunctioning, but there's no way of knowing that. So Barb went out and got the proper kind of vent. We were able to clean out the entire exit tube, and Barb installed the new vent. So now the dryer hopefully will function a little bit better, and there won't be as much buildup of lint on the exit vent like there was. That was something that, between my son, Pam, and I, we could have done, and we would have done, 
but it would have taken us a little bit longer. And if it was me doing it, the getting down on the ground and doing the work would have really probably exhausted me. But the flip side to that is I walk outside to see what Pam and Barb were doing and I wind up standing there and watching and I feel really useless when things like that happen. So thank you Barb for all that you did. I know that you are probably exhausted from visiting and doing all that work. So going home is going to be resting for you. There is no way I can put into words how much I appreciate the help that you've given. And I really do hope you can visit again soon. My sister Barb left yesterday. It was sad to see her go. I always enjoy having her visit. And at the same time, it's kind of nice getting back to a more normal routine. I know that the cats really miss Barb. I mean, she was gone less than an hour and they already started gathering back around my mother. Not all the cats are sad that Barb is gone. Bolt, who has never been very sociable, she really only gets cuddly with me and my mom. She scoured the entire house, making sure Barb was actually gone before finally coming out and pestering my mother and telling her that it was time for bed. Bolt does not understand that we watch Dancing with the Stars. All she knows is that her grandma normally goes to bed at around nine o'clock and it was past nine. So she sat on the arm of my mom's chair and waited for her to go to bed. And it was actually kind of cute. My mom is tired, you know, like everybody else. She really enjoyed having the family here, but it exhausted her. And she was kind of showing that yesterday. I know she's waiting to hear that Barb made it back home because she was driving. So she will never admit that she's worried, but I know she's worried. This video was meant to be very, very short and mostly to say thank you to Barb for all she did and to let her know that the cats really miss her. And of course the humans miss her too. So I have definitely talked a lot more than I thought I was going to. I appreciate you watching all of this. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell to get notification. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me you like what you're seeing. Leave me a question or a comment or a suggestion down below. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Tell me what you'd like to see on this channel and I will try to work it in. I do have limitations to what I can do or will do. It's not like I have a lot to talk about right now and not getting updates on my medical issues is kind of driving me nuts. So I would like distractions. So leave me a suggestion and I'll talk to you again next week. Take care. Bye bye. I think I'd learn to do all this shit before turning on the cameras. I can piece all that shit together. I do remember some sort of combination. Combination, no, conversation. Not all the cats are, are glad. And somehow I wound up with tur turds. <laughs> oh my God. In case you don't see it, I'm kind of half shrugging and my hands are out and doing all that. That's gonna be hard to recover from.